Uh, hi, uh, Wei Ye and Alan. Thanks for trying out the Insujet, yeah. this is Tony. Yeah. Actually, I have the demo system with me now. What I'm going to do is show you uh, the preparation of the Insujet. Nah. Then I'll do administration on myself and let's see whether the steps are accordingly the same as what you did earlier. So basically, uh, this is a pen with the nozzle and I have saline here with me. So this is what I usually inject myself with for doing demo. I'll do two injections. One is uh, based on 10 units. So basically, what I'll do is I'll connect the file onto the pen. Then I give it a heat first to make sure there's no air bubble in there. Then I'll pick out about 10 units. Actually, I'll, I'll pick out about 11 units of the saline to remove about one unit of air in case there's any air bubble. So in this case, there's not really much air bubble. So uh, some user will find that it's not easy to flick. So what we always do is we'll hit the pen, we'll slap the pen on the top and this clears rather most of the air bubble. Yeah, so a drop came out. And so usually the head cannot, uh, the head doesn't attach very closely to the skin, it might cause bleeding. So some of the user they hold the pen like this, so it becomes detached on the injection versus the skin side. So what we do is usually hold the top part here. So this middle part can compress and we will release like that. So it's like holding a pen, uh, literally holding a pen. So the pressure, actually you don't need much pressure. Okay, I'll show you the injection. So you just pinch a little bit, but the injection has to be perpendicular. You cannot, you cannot slant it sideways, if not there will be bleeding. So what I usually do, pinch a bit and then just shoot. Just press and shoot. And literally there's no pain and you feel about one, two, three, four, five seconds. So when I remove it, right, you need to note uh, note two things. One is if there's excessive water out there, that means the injection didn't go in, it's spread around. So a little bit of water is okay. Then after a while, there will be the injection site where you can, I'm not sure if you can see it clearly on the video, but there's one injection site that has the bleeding. This part is where the insulin enters your body. In my case, it's the saline. It shouldn't be so excessive. What I think is probably uh, when you inject, it's shifted side by side. So do go in straight. And um, also, wish to check whether it's... Uh, do you have any existing dermatological uh, skin issue like bruising easily? Because some of the user feedback small percentage like in the UK side they, they have the same situation as well so yeah keep me posted I'll send you this video